For episode number 10, we're going to be reviewing Lost New Carbon Wrap Technology. And we're going to do it with a familiar model that I'm comfortable with. Um, for anybody that's watched our test drive reviews in the past, you're going to know for me that the Lost um, Taj Burrow Baby Buggy is one of my all-time favorite boards. So. Since I am familiar with this model, and since it is going to be in the epoxy construction, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to shrink my dimensions down, just standard stock dimensions, one inch lower than what I would have ridden with the PU construction. Quick overview of the baby buggy design is, once again, it has, you know, a little less rocker. They took the rocker from the Taj Burrow beach buggy and sort of just found a way to fit it into a shorter board. Um, other than that, the outline is very similar. Um, you know, little fuller nose, little fuller tail. So it, it's definitely something that's not a high performance shortboard, but I would consider it like a performance groveler for sure. Now, as far as the technology of the lost carbon wrap, the technology basically eliminates the traditional wooden stringer and uses a two pound epoxy foam that has carbon strategically wrapped throughout the board and that's where you get the carbon wrap is it's actually wraps from the bottom it goes down the nose and it sort of bends out above the fins and directly above each fin you get the carbon that wraps onto the deck where the carbon wraps onto the deck actually ends up really similar placement wise to where most manufacturers are putting those tail carbon strips these days I'm a huge believer in the Lost Shapes, the Mayhem Shapes, the Biolus boards, the, the shapes he has are some of the best boards out there in the world. So getting to try that out and just a, you know, true two pound EPS stringerless board is going to be kind of a thrill because I've ridden construction like this. I've never ridden construction like this by one of the best shapers in the world. So, we do have a little wave out there. Um, we've got some surf, it's nothing great, but it's, you know, chest high or so. It's got a little push, but more importantly, there's a little bit of bump on the water. It's easy to review these epoxy boards in glassy waves because they work great in glassy waves. What board doesn't? But to really get the test of how these boards are gonna work for the average guy that has to use this all the time, we need to have these out in surf that's a little bumpier, a little choppier to really kind of put it to the test. We just got in from the pier. Uh, I will say there were some fun little waves. Um, we had a you know good little stomach, chest high swell running, a couple little punchy sections. My first reaction to the carbon wrap baby buggy is to, to be completely honest, you're not gonna jump on these boards and immediately be able to ride them perfectly. This is, the carbon wrap boards need to be ridden multiple times so that you can get used to it. The only reason I didn't have an issue with that is clearly because we've been reviewing nothing but epoxy boards. And I think the benefit to this lost baby buggy carbon wrap is the fact that the baby buggy is still one of the best boards out there as far as the model itself. You could get it in PU, 
Uh, you could get it in carbon wrap, you could get it in black dark construction, you could get it built by Hydroflex. I honestly truly believe that whatever material you get a Taj Burrow baby buggy in, you're gonna love it. It's fast, it's loose, it turns incredible, it holds the rail incredible. It, it will go down in history as one of the best performance small wave boards. But I will say it, it did have the traditional sort of chattery feel. I hate to use that term because it's so generalized at this point, but that's, that's the best way I can relate it to you guys out there in Webland is it does have that feel of chatter when you're in bumpy surf. And one of the best ways that I can tell you to handle that chattery feel is to just slow down. One of the main things that these boards exhibit is speed. They are light and they are fast. That is a natural characteristic of this type of build and this type of material. The board is extremely fast. And I think when people talk about that chatter, it's because they're not used to having so much speed. So my best suggestion on that is, is just learn how to, when the board starts to chatter, learn how to kind of slow down, constrain, control the speed and feel the maneuverability. Really focus on turning and maneuvering the board and not letting the speed get out of control. I did use the traditional, my, my go-to fin template, the large AM. I will say that I definitely feel like this board could have surfed better with a little bit larger fin in it. I think a bigger fin is the way to go. So when I take this board back out, I will probably be using the large performer template from FCS2. It has a little bit more thickness at the tip of the fin than, than my favorite fin, the AM. And I think that's gonna sort of help the board hold in a little bit more. And once again, it'll go back to helping me control the speed when this board gets up a little bit too fast and starts to kind of get a little bouncy on the chop. Thanks for tuning in. Test drive episode number 10. Come into the shop at sunrise and check out some of the carbon wrap models we have in stock.